Hello and welcome to another episode of the Berkey Cabinet featuring AJ and Jessica. Today's episode we have requested and got a 1792 Sweet Wheat. Yeah, so as we've mentioned before with 1792, because we've done a couple of their videos, um, well, both their uh, small batch and their foolproof uh, store pick single barrel that we had. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, so as we've mentioned before, it is uh, the oldest fully operating distillery in Bardstown. Uh, it is a Barton product, and they uh, were bought out and, owned, and uh, now owned by Sazerac since 2009. Um, so yeah, it's a 91.2 proof. Um, I've had this one before in the past, and it was it was really good at the time um i have not had this one in probably getting close to four years now so uh it'll be interesting to see see how much my palette has changed and uh, if it still tastes just as good i remember it being actually very sweet so we'll see if it'll still hold up to that name mm -hmm. Smell. That is a funky smell. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I sneezed three times before we started the video or. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. I would say that's probably a strong wheat smell, actually, isn't it? Yeah, I know it is. So at least, it's, at least it's, when it says it's sweet wheat, you can actually smell the wheat. Oh, yeah, and it definitely smells like a sweet wheat, like a, like a baking, like. Like a big bread, sweet wheat bread. It does smell like it's somewhat baked. I smell some baking nuts in there. You know what I also smell? Mm. <laughs> Alcohol rub. Oh, maybe you want to thunk it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see what this tastes like. I actually really don't get any alcohol rub off of that. Like, it just, it's not overly potent like that you can tell how mellow it is just from the small yeah a lot of big bread in there so while she's going ahead and trying to figure this out uh, i'm going to go ahead and tell you what i got from that um there was some, some weed in there there's some heat behind it uh it goes down pretty smoothly um there's not really a, there's a slight heat sensation afterwards, nothing crazy, um, but you do taste, I do get some of the, like, the, still some baking notes in there, um, still some wheat, especially in the aftertaste. I don't know how to describe anything else yet, so I'll let her do the rest. For me it has like a, almost like a, a buttery texture to it, coating the tongue like, this thing is an experience for me. I mean, for me personally, it reminds me of straight up eating a piece of fresh out of the oven. Well, I mean, you know, like, well, for just a little bit, but not too long. You know, whenever you're not supposed to cut it, but you cut it anyways because you can't wait because it smells too good. And that's, that's the sensation I get because I get the heat on the back note, but I mean, you could take that as being a hot, fresh piece of bread, and it just tastes just straight up like sweet wheat bread. Like, <laughs> this is just bread for me. And then, since it has the buttery coating on the mouth, I mean, it's it's perfect. This is this is like you know a little appetizer at the restaurant whenever you first get seated. <laughs> and again, it is ninety-one point two proof. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Ninety-one point two. Yeah, ninety-one point two proof. Uh, I would say it tastes closer to, I don't know, it, it tastes almost about where it should be. Maybe 95-ish. I don't think close to 100. No, of course no. It's way too sweet for that. But like, what's interesting about this one is that, you know, a lot of bourbons out there, whenever they say that they're sweet, uh, you anticipate a lot of the caramel vanilla notes, and those are like almost 
non-existent in this for me. Yeah, I can agree. And it definitely is more of a, a, a baked baked wheat of sorts. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad after this many years, I actually still thoroughly enjoy that. Like, <laughs> definitely worth picking up for sure. Most definitely, it's a. Uh, Oh goodness, how much was that bottle? 60, 65? I believe it was right in that 60 to 65 range. Uh, I don't remember, so yeah. Probably somewhere between 60 to 65 bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna start having to write the prices on all of these whenever I bring them home. <laughs> yeah, write it on the back of the bottle or something. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, um, ratings. On oh the... shit, thank you. Uh, yeah, so. Hmm, everything considered, I would probably give that, I'm breaking my rules here, but I'm going to go 7.5. It's not quite a set, it's better than a 7, but I don't think it's quite an 8 just yet. It's a good moderate sipper though, that's for sure, at least, you know, drinking it neat like that is pretty good to sip on. Mm -hmm. What about mm -hmm. you? I like the uniqueness to it. Um... You know, most weeded bourbons are very much so a hit or miss for me because, uh, I mean, they're either just really good or they're bad. <laughs> well, or not necessarily bad, but like so mediocre that there's no point. Um, and this one is like, it's good, but I wouldn't like wait in line anywhere like trying to get a bottle, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't be desperate for one of these. I feel like if it was so. higher on my scale, then it, I would wait in line for it, but I don't mm. think it's worth that. Yeah, but it is still really, really phenomenal and it's really, really good to sip on. So I guess sipping wise, I'll give it... A seven... I'll just do a 7.5 as well, I guess. Yeah. Wow, I'm yeah. surprised. All right, well, let's see how it is as a shot. Another tink. Tink. <clears throat> okay. 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 Oh. Okay. So, for me, taking it as a shot, it hits a little harder, surprisingly. I was uh, quite surprised by that. So, um, it still has some of the sweet wheat smells. It does come a little bit later after it gets done slapping you around for a second. Um, <laughs> there is some more kind of like heat to it, but not overwhelming heat. It's it's still manageable. It's just it kind of stings a little more. That's a, that's about all I get from it. It's not like it's like harsh or anything like that. Mm. It's just where it's still kind of just smacks you a little harder. Cause that was way tougher than the than just sipping it for some reason. Most definitely was uh, taking it as a shot. There like is not that that piece of bread that they bring to <laughs> those rolls and butter that they bring to your table. Like I was mentioning before. I mean. It definitely, I, I got almost no, none of that, that bread taste to it. I did get some of the baked goods still to it, but it wasn't like just straight bread flavor like sipping it did. So that was pretty, like, quite a bit different. And then it does have a lot more spice to it than what it does whenever you sip on it. And it's weird because for me personally, like most of the spice and stuff was like just on the sides of my, the, the, the back sides of my tongue. Mm. And that's it. And I don't know, it was just a very weird experience. <laughs> it was a very weird experience. It's not that it was bad, but definitely tasted like it should be a higher proofage than what it is. Yeah, especially, <laughs> especially the shot, it definitely hits a lot harder than, than what it shows, mm. for sure. So I guess if you want to fool yourself into thinking that you're drinking something higher proof, it should be something good that's a, to that's go a, that's a great point. Great point. <laughs> so what would you rate that one as a shot? 
Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let you go first. <laughs> I'll give it an eight. It's it's definitely an upgrade. Um, not so much to where it's like a whole point or anything, but it's definitely an improvement from taking it as just a regular sip and it's definitely better as a shot for sure to me. So I'd, I'd give it an 8. I'm, no, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give it the same exact fucking score. 7.5. Uh, it is quite a bit different than the other one, but experience wise like depending on what kind of mood I'm in I could see myself wanting both of them you know and enjoying both of them for the same amount for what they're worth you know it's yeah 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 definitely 7.5 say <laughs> so in the next episode uh we're gonna try to do things a little different and we're going ahead and try to plan it out we are actually gonna pick one of the old Foresters between this one here being the 1897, we got the Statesman, and we have the 1910. Uh, one of our house one, one of our house ones is the hundred proof one, so we'll eventually do that at some point or another. But that's gonna be one of those three is gonna be on the next video, so be on the lookout for that. And until then, ciao, matane.